must say that I'm very disappointed with the governor. Very, very disappointed with that statement he made. In England, there are no written laws, but there are conventions and precedents. There is no written law that governs England. They move with conventions and precedents and absence on things that happen. That's how England is governed. That's what we understand in law. And I have this thing. In 2006, when I saw that Ibori was going to leave power, And from his body language, and from what was happening around him, I noticed that he was going to hand over, he, he, may, he may likely hand over power to another person in Central. I rose and told him that in our meetings at various places, our understanding is that power will rotate among, among us. That you cannot hand over power to another person from Central. That this is an understanding that we all have. My brothers from Central, many of them, rose against me, including the president, Deputy, uh, Deputy Senate President. All of them rose against me. I stood my ground. I said, this is our understanding. When we were meeting, when we were forming this party together, that you cannot hand over power to a central. I formed what is called Equity 2006 to challenge the power that was in power in Delta State. And himself, who is the governor, participated in the struggle. He was sending his people to the meeting. He was himself. Even though he was romancing with the people, the government that time, but he was sending his people to come and participate in my struggle. The struggle I was championing for power to shift. In fact, the first meeting we held in Chief Mrs. Teodora Giwa Amu's house on this issue, he was there himself. Okowa was there. When we met him, when, when we had the meeting, he was there. And what we were saying that, that, that we have an agreement that power must rotate among the three senatorial districts, that it cannot remain in Central. And we now, it was there, we now formed the name, coined the name Equity 2006. In that meeting, and we all adopted that name as Equity 2006. He became the vehicle with which we fought the government that be, with me as the head. And that was how the power left the central and went to the south. The federal government became involved, the party and national became involved in, the, in our shout, in our fight. And then the power now moved from central. I remember. One of those days, I was almost declared a wanted man. If the global people saw me that time, they, they would have killed me. They did everything to get at me, including trying to implicate me over so many issues. I remember one day I was in the airport, going to the airport. Then we have no airport in Asaba. And all of a sudden, I saw, it, it, I saw a convoy of cars coming in. Behold, it was Ibori. And I was in the VIP law sitting down. And he was walking towards me with a crowd. And that was the day I thought that I am gone. And when he got near me, he turned around and said, everybody, all the people were following, he said, go away, go away, everybody, go away. And he took me to the side. I stood up from my seat and greeted him. He took me to the side. He said, Peter, what you fought for is power shift. Power has shifted, my brother. Why are we still fighting? Let us come back together the way we are. I want to appeal to you. Let us down our tools and put our hands together 
and make sure that Okowa, I mean uh, Uduaga wins. He said, after that, the power will go back to Delta North. And I must congratulate him that he stood his ground. Even from prison, when I went to him, he was still telling me, Peter, power will go back to it is Delta North that is the next after Uduaga. And he maintained it, even on the induction ground, on nomination ground, and as he was calling us from prison, giving us directive, go and make sure that you people return Okowa as the distant. I have given my promise that it's going to Delta North and it must go back to Delta North. And he's a beneficiary of the power struggle that we, we pushed in Delta North. How can a beneficiary, somebody who benefited from a struggle, will now say there was no agreement? <laughs> it's, it's, it baffles me. And I'm still, I'm still at loss, at the, the very big loss that he can make such a statement. Okay, if you say it's on ethnicity, okay, we agree. A, a Kaman has gone. It's not the turn of Oshimlian and Yocha. Or it's only the turn, turn of Ndokwa. Ndokwa nationality. Then after that, you go to Robo. The, 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 the Ethiop, we say. The Okbes, we say. The, the Uyelis, we say. The other people, we say it is their turn. Then we continue on the ethnic nationality. What then maybe when he's going to hand over, hand over to Oshimi Nature, then in Oshimi Nature, I will tell you that Oshimi man is different from an Anacha man. Then maybe an Anacha man with a Ogwashuku man will say they were different from Ibuzo man. So we may have to go by town by town. <coughs> because that's what we are talking. Because when you finish with that, is we, the Isoko man will also say that we are moving on that. We are finished with uh, this. It's not the turn of Isoko. So maybe Isoko finished the Indokwa says they are turn. Maybe that the, then the Urugu, maybe Urugu will also say it is the, the, not this thing. And so that what are we talking about? In Nigeria, we are talking of north and south. You don't know what we are talking? Yes. We are saying north and south. We're not saying um, it, it is within south. We're not saying okay, within this south, it is not this person. It is within that's what we are saying. We're not saying um, um, after Yoruba man, then um, it will come to Midwest man. Then it will become to uh, this thing. Well, uh, is there any written agreement in our constitution where we said it is uh, north and south? No, I'm asking. Is there any in our constitution? Is there anywhere it's written that is north and south? Is that not a, but, but that is a generally accepted thing. And we are even still arguing. We are even still arguing that the north and south are even still saying that they want to do it like that. You see, my, my dear brother, I, I've, I don't want to go, I didn't want to speak on it because I'm going to speak on it vehemently. I don't want trouble in this state. Some of us have put our life on the line to fight for this power shift, including my family suffered. I lost my commissionership, not for anything, but because I was fighting for power shift. I, was, I passed through a lot of problems at the risk of my life to fight for the power shift in Delta State, which is a, which is a beneficiary today. And at the tail end of your tenor, you are now saying that there was no written agreement. I, 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 I find it extremely difficult to, to believe that such a thing will happen. And in any case, that brings me to, even to the issue. I was talking about consultation. If he was going to make that meeting, he would have called a group of his, a, a group in the meeting, the founding fathers of the meeting. It's not a matter to be made in the public. You would have made a meeting with the founding fathers of the party and bring it out, gentlemen, let us discuss. What do you think? It, it, will be, it will become a collective decision of the leadership. So now when he's saying it, this man is a coin it here, this man is a coin here. But when you believe that you are now a supreme man, that you have acquired so much money, so much wealth and power, and you can make a statement, nobody can make a governor in this state. Governorship of this state must be made by the people of this state, not by one man. Because every man has only one vote. And we are going to make sure that the next governor must be a collective decision of the people of Delta State, not by an individual. We have seen it before, and it has happened. So it's going to happen again if one man thinks he can sit in his office, in the comfort of his office, and say this person is going to be the governor. We will make sure that person is not the governor. Because we all have what it takes to fight.